Frank, I activated the second antenna. The renegades were here, on the roof. Speaking of renegades, Jerry Marchetta. Meeting in Garrison Boulevard, all opposite. Waltz will be there to give us orders. Anything new about that pilgrim? No. But he found someone who'll help him access the database. If you know something new about that fucking pilgrim, let me know. Keep looking. Frank, I need to get to where they are. You heard the maiden. 
Waltz is looking for you. He's got a way to access the database. <laughs> he found someone. He's too strong for you, and you'll be playing straight into his hand. If that's the only way to find out the truth, then so be it. You're stubborn, kiddo. Stubborn like the one. I'll be in touch. Yeah. <sighs> 
See? Walt was right. These fuckers were eavesdropping on us. First him, then we'll get that GRE employee from the old Philidor. And the boss will be over the moon. Where's Walt? Walt? We don't need Walt to deal with you. Oh, good old Frank. So naive. Warning people. Talking way too much. <clears throat> Got it! <clears throat> I think so. Yeah. Walsh wasn't here. And they know we're eavesdropping on them. I know. You know? Someone tried to tip me off. But the warning came too late. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I... <clears throat> My infection just flared up. The renegades were talking about some GRE doctor from the bazaar. Walsh is looking for him, too. Former GRE and old Villador? I'll look into it. Who tried to tip you off? Well... That's the strangest part. It was Hakon. He wants to meet with you. I wasn't aware the two of you had met. Anything I should know? It's... a long story. Why doesn't that surprise me? I thought he left the city. Well, he's still kicking, and he'll be waiting for you at the church on St. Paul Island. He's got the goods on Waltz. And hell, maybe he knows something about Lawan too.
I'll go meet with Hakon, Frank. You try and find out what happened to Lawan. Just remember, they're listening to you two. Will do, Aiden. Be careful. Who knows what Hakon is up to? I'm going back to the fisheye. Good luck.
Frank, the church is empty. What are you talking about? Well, Hakon's not here, but it looks like the renegades were camped here. Their fire's still smoldering. Hey, then. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Why not? It's been a while. Looks like you've made some new friends. How is Lawan, by the way? Wait, don't you know where she is? No. But what I do know is that someone's been killing William's top officers, each with a single crossbow bolt. Sounds like Lawan's MO, doesn't it? Okay, Pilgrim. Time to get down to business. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him!
You've made quite a name for yourself in this shithole. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah. But they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. Thank you. Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time!
many people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian, Frank, Luan. Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Inhibitor container detected. Sorry, Hakon. I didn't want this. Frank? It's Aiden. Hakon's dead. Oh, fuck no. I knew this would happen. Well, come back to the fisheye. I overheard something more about Waltz. He's heading to Old Villador, Aiden. The person he tracked down is a GRE doctor. Is that related to the database? Yes, and I think I know the person he's after. I'll try to use the radio to reach her first. Taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. Do the Night Runners mean nothing to you? Don't you want to make things right, Hakon? Nothing to make right anymore. The Night Runners are long gone. 
No matter what Frank says, he ain't gonna raise the dead. <sighs> Although it's a nice dream. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back, but I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? <clears throat> I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A oh, good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. The one? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, Luan. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? I know about the Night Runners. Frank told me. He spoke about balance and letting go. <laughs> He's one to talk. But he has. And you could too. Can't you? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. <laughs> what is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! The one! This is bullshit! Get the fuck out of here. You, you sure? Go before I change my mind, you asshole. I'm sorry. How you feel? I don't know. I... I feel... relieved. Some peace. Finally, but... But I should have killed him. He was on my list. He's still on my list. And throw your list away. That list is my only purpose. It helped me keep going. Throw it away, Luan. You think you know me? Uh, Fuck you. Luan... Wait. Yeah, I... Look, a lot went down since we last spoke. Fuck. What happened? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. And... You won't believe this, but... Luan was there, and... She let Hakon go. She what? Yeah. She destroyed her kill list. I'm floored. Save your shock for later, Frank. What about that doctor? Come to the fisheye, Aiden. I'll tell you everything.
You can't be trusted. You showed your true colors with that BNC tower I mission. Swear, we are going to get through this. Us. Frank? I thought that Killian was a harmless eccentric. Excuse me, I am. Uh... Hey, mind your manners. Me and the lady you're talking. Whoa. It's my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more Matt's doing. Hey, don't be modest. On the house, I'm Nicholas. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. So, you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah. Get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house hooch, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. Aiden, remember to go. Is this a private party or can anyone crash it? You've done a lot for the city, Aiden. Yeah, for thanks. For the night runners. You'll be one of us someday, Aiden. We'll make a decent runner, Moni Lawan. Huh? Ah, oh, the best. But as for today, hey, everyone, I wanted to say something. Hey! Everybody, hey! Hey! Shut up, all of you! Frank's got something to say. By whatever authority remains in me, I hereby make Lawan officially and forever. A night runner. And fuck yes. Hey, hey. Come on, you get the run. fuck out. Give him a beer. Frank. Uh, you mean so you're really bringing back the night runners? No, you're bringing them back. You and Aiden, in fact. You've already started. These old bastards are all former night runners who heard my broadcasts and came back. But you, you did them one better. You grew up. <laughs> Fuck you. 
See? The creed. If Hakon's alive, it means you learn to forgive. You found balance. That's what being a night runner is really all about. What about you, Frank? Do you forgive? Your timing always sucked, Hakon. Sometimes. But maybe not this time. I thought you could use this. Where'd that come from? I've kept it with me all along, Frank. So what will it be, Chief? If Luan can forgive you, <laughs> I guess I have no choice. Not a ringing endorsement, but I'll take what I can get. Good. Now, this is Luan's time, not yours. Step back and shut up. Everybody, get your asses up to the roof. Much better place for a ceremony than a fucking bar. Oh, yeah! Today I am forged in you to serve a cause greater than myself. Today I am forged anew to serve a cause greater than myself. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the sword that slays the enemies of mankind. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the shield behind which humanity rises again. I shall be the light in the darkness. I shall be the light in the darkness. This is my sacrifice. This is my sacrifice. This is my pledge. This is my pledge. As a night runner. As a night runner. <laughs> I'm gonna make you proud. You already have, and I say that calls for celebration. Everyone, back down to the bar. Hayden, the GRE doctor I told you about. It's Veronica Ryan. She lives in Old Villador. Are you kidding me? What? Well, she's one of the first people I met here. We were acquainted once. She used to come to the canteen. I guess I managed to avoid pissing her off during my booze hound days, because I convinced her to help you. Can we talk before you leave, Aiden? I'm sorry, Luan. I have to go. I really want to tell you something. I... it won't take long, Aiden. Promise. Look, can it wait, Luan? I, I really need to get going. Uh huh. I see. I fucked it up. Never mind. Veronica is at the bazaar, Aiden. You'll find us somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good luck. Shopkeeper's here. Inside, man. <coughs> New stuff! How may I help you? Later.
Stand here. Come <laughs> on. 
Practically one of us now. Sometimes I wake up so at night. Did you talk to your daughter? Even happened. That's not the only she said I that he has to make the first then I move. see that gosh, she's and looking for something strong and assertive. So he's a shy boy, just like me at his age. Well, what can I do? I think this whole matchmaking business is a mistake. There's no chemistry between two people. Do they rough you up in my son? A little. Nothing. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. little. Can you hear yourself at all? All he does is sit under a tree all day, biting his nails. Maybe there's a way to fix this. 
you can fix yeah. it by figuring out uh, how you you're going to pay me back. About how your daughter spends her evenings? You better choose your next words very carefully. I'm just asking if you heard the rules. Watch yourself, you hear? Don't think so much. Just talk to the Bulgarian. He's not part of something. Well, if he doesn't want to sell, I keep oh, talking to him. He has said to you if you can afford his jacked up prices. You come over to see us next week. If you promise Karen won't pull out the family. I can't promise that. I haven't been able to sleep. I miss her. When are you getting married? Never. Well, that's your final answer. Let's not talk about Anyone. this. Sometimes I can't sleep because of the awful sound the infected outside. I can walk. How you doing, buddy? What's going on? Hello, Barney. What brings you, pal? I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. You're not the only one, man. What do you mean? The good doctor's in trouble. And, uh, weird kind of trouble. You see, a group of renegades appeared in Old Villador. First, we braced ourselves for another battle. But they didn't attack the bazaar. Just ask for Dr. Ryan. Of course, we didn't tell them where she is. And where is Veronica? <laughs> you can tell me, right? In a hideout. Vincenzo and a few of our people are protecting her there. But the less people know about that place, the safer she is. Where is it, Barney? If the renegades are hunting Veronica, a few people may not be enough. You just can't walk away from a fight, can you? The building is north of Quarry End. Courtesan Rose Street. But you didn't hear it from me. Thanks for the info. I'll go and give him a hand. The folks say I'm the one always itching for a fight. Anyway, good luck, man. Bet you wonder where all the guns went, right? Army seized him after a lunatic killed a bunch of people in March 2024. God knows who's got him now. Look like much of a sinner.
Thank God. Wait, where's Veronica? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No, but we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? <sighs> Shit. Something's not right. Yes, I'm safe. Are you? Oh. I am now. There is someone who needs to speak to you. Yeah, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. 
Frank told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? Yeah, that's what I've been told. You think you can... Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go. Wait, hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Thank you. I'm lucky you showed up. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell.
near the dam. Meet me, and then we'll go to the observatory. That's the place you're looking for. But the observatory's soaked in chemicals. Find me in the two-story building squeezed between the dam and the promenade. Thank you. 
I had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you. To access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? Well, it has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you.
See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. Aiden, I wasn't kidding about that limited time. That blocker won't protect you forever. <laughs> go and turn on the, power. the blocker is working. Protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I can get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden.
I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Let's see. I think it blew a fuse. I'm checking. Do something. Quick. Please. Don't worry. I'll fix it. Please. Don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. My hands here, Veronica. Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Don't leave me! Just don't leave me here! Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. Power's back. You all right? <sighs> Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. Everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? 
Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake, can we not talk about this right now? The, the database, where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. Great. Dark again. Wait. I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. It's a tight fit in here. That's the only way to get to the database, Aiden. I need to get in there somehow and get that door open. Veronica, how you holding up? Just want to get to that database and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. Frank told me it was important to you. And that's it. You probably don't know much about Frank and the Night Runners. We owe him, well, everything.
Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... <laughs> we were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... Lost. Locked again. What now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select Emergency Unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done. have another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are.
Dr. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director. Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control, one by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. He was here with me. Paul. He was five back then, too. Let's go. We've got things to do. Yeah. Let's go. you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Veronica, are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? But that can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination's deadly. But, but how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! I'm thinking. So think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. A any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go. Find the, the control room. Contamination procedure ready to begin. No. 
found one. That's it. All right, now comes the fun part. Aiden? Aiden, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I used the blocker. God. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh, no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible. Waltz. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. Were all of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance, uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. I will check my name, Aiden. Aiden. Uh, there's one record among the youngest children. Year 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above average tolerance to the substance. Most tests performed. Exemplary results. I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago, in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea, but 
Intruder alert. Intruder alert. In infected? They must be here somewhere. The oh, renegades. Them. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. You all right? Yes, but I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Well, missile strikes? What are you talking about? The failsafe protocol. We don't have much time. Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. Hey, Frank? Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. Shit. Okay. On it. Open the fuck up! I just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. Autograph. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica? Veronica, you there? Veronica, talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay, where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Veronica, what's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the boss.
Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Veronica, get away! Give me the fucking key! Give it to me! Just run! I'll stop him! Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? Uh... My sister. She's long gone. No! I'll kill you! Should have died years ago. Uh. <laughs> 
Aiden, hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. No! Luan. <laughs> Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. <sighs> Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. <coughs> And not only that, I'm turning. I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. Waltz told me that Mia's dead. I have to get away from here. I'm a threat if I stay to... Uh, to everyone. What if he lied to you? And Mia's alive. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not you. If this transformation is because of Waltz, then we're going to make him fix it. Got it? I'll help you. How? Waltz created the inhibitors. He must know how to counter their effects. What was that? Come on. Probably another building collapse. The Butcher. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Waltz. He used the key. That's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Waltz getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be at risk. And Waltz took the key from Veronica and escaped. Apparently he needs it for something else. Do you see now? You have to stop him. Him and Williams. No matter what. Luan, I 
can't control when I turn. Any moment now, I can... When you feel something happening, just get to a UV light. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's get him. Now you're talking like the Aiden I know. Frank's taking Juan and Matt to the Stronghold. He wants to meet with the Butcher. What? I had the same reaction. But he says that after the bombing, Williams contacted him, and that he wants to talk. Has Frank lost his mind? That's why I'm going to cover their idiotic asses. You go to the Fisheye. Maybe you can still talk Frank out of this stupid idea. If that doesn't work, I won't be far. Aiden, nobody can know about Veronica. Remember, I know it wasn't you who did that, but Jack, the peacekeepers, they won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't. Frank! Frank! Frank, do you copy?